So were you gonna tell me? What? Who was that guy? Maybe nobody. Maybe somebody. I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't. If there's something to say, I'll say it. Until then, we got a spook to sort. My, Joey's upset. Come on in. Oh, hi, Rosa. Make yourself at home. We've met Penelope. You found her? How's she doing? She's interesting. Interesting's the word. I could only understand half of that crap she spouted. Yeah, she's a bit out there. She thinks she's found something meaningful. Has she? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. Jeremy? Yes? yes. Is there anything else you can tell me about Penelope Haynes? She's a sweet old lady. Or at least, I suppose she was once. Okay. Well, I better get going. Alright. Thanks again, Rosa. Maybe we should go talk to Madison. again. I told you, there is no reason for you to be here. I spoke to your mother-in-law. You spoke to Penelope? Yes. I told you not to speak to her. No, you said you wouldn't tell me where to find her. I found her anyway. Hmm, clever girl. And what did she tell you? She doesn't think much of you, that's for sure. <sighs> Come in, shut the door. <laughs> Let me tell you something about my mother-in-law. She's rich, and she's needy. People like her are easy prey for people like him. People like who? People like Gavin. B -b 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 who's Gavin? What did this Gavin do? He brainwashed her is what he did. He made her hate us. He told her we were phony and superficial. Okay, we're well off. I can't deny that. But the thing she said? She changed her will. Can you believe that? Left everything to Gavin. Even my husband couldn't look at her anymore, so we sent her away. So you put Penelope into a nursing home after she changed her will? I know, I know. We're horrible, ungrateful people. Don't think we don't feel guilty about it. But she was impossible to live with, and we have a son to raise. I even gave her a key, and I told her she could visit whenever she liked. Not that she would. She denies we ever gave it to her, even though it's lying in her room for everyone to see. Was it a lot of money? Who cares about the money? The money isn't the point. She turned her back on her family, her son, her new grandchild, just because some cult leader told her to. You stick by your family. That's just what you do. Well, I better get going. Goodbye, then. So, there's a Gavin. Madison, Penelope was brainwashed by a man named Gavin. No. There we go. Um. a name so I probably actually can't search it like I thought I could so we should probably go back to Seagram oh Penelope Mrs. Haynes oh it's you I spoke to Madison about you Oh, I'd advise against that. Five minutes in her presence will kill a year of your spiritual growth. 
Madison told me she gave you a key to her apartment. A key? No, she didn't. She told me she did. Well, she's lying. She hates me, so she wouldn't give me anything. You understand? I'm not sure I do. That's all right. Maybe you're not supposed to. This Gavin, who is he? Gavin is the one who opened my eyes. You make him sound like a prophet. Far from it. He's just a man who had his eyes opened, and he helps others do the same. He was just a signpost on my spiritual journey. More like the exit ramp to your personal loony bin. Did you really cut your family out of your will? Sure I did. What of it? They have everything they need. I'm giving it to a much worthy cause. The work must continue. I can make sure it does. Madison doesn't seem all that bad. You never lived with her. For years I lived under a cloud, only I never knew it. The clouds have parted and I see. See what? My purpose. I never had one before. She couldn't see that. She did everything she could to destroy it. She even took my peridot. Peridot? A stone. Gavin gave it to me. It promotes spiritual growth. She took it before sending me here, like it will do her any good. Can't you get another one? This one was given to me by Gavin. It has special energy inside. It's irreplaceable. I'd like to meet Gavin. You? No, no, I don't believe you're sincere. That reporter, Jeremy, I sent him on his way to Gavin and it just upset things. It upset someone, all right. Upset them enough to kill. Perhaps he wasn't ready. Perhaps he remained closed-minded. Perhaps I should have seen that. Either way, you must find your way to Gavin yourself. Unless you can prove your sincerity. I could get your peridot for you. You would do that? You'd brave that nest of vipers and retrieve it for me? It's hardly a nest of vipers. That's because you can't see. But if you get it for me, let's just say that helping others is the key to helping yourself. I'd like to help myself with some earplugs. Uh. Okay. Well, thanks for your time, Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Stop by any time. Sure it has. So now we have to get this mysterious parado. That's new. Looks like a cleaning rotation chart. The handwriting is awful, but it looks like Penelope Haynes is due to have her room cleaned today. Room 12G to be precise. Can we go to 12G? I can't do anything from out here. Locked. I can't pick that. There's a label attached to it. It says Madison and Scott. I guess it's a key to the apartment uptown. It's just on the edge of the chair. Don't know why they bother with alarm clocks here. What do they need to get up for? Not bad. How the fuck am I gonna get this key? Damn it! I don't know why I did that. The key isn't going anywhere now. What happened? Are we stuck? Hold on, hold on. We ain't licked yet. There's gotta be some way to fix this. Are you telling me to reload? No good. The rug's too thick and the key's too heavy. Yeah, it's telling me to reload. Hold on.
need to save more often. Hi again. Hello. Could you tell me a bit about this place? Well, if you want my opinion, this is one of the best assisted living centers in New York. But you don't want to hear a PR spiel, I'm sure. If you're interested, take one of our brochures over there. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. Excuse me. Oh. Got it. Joey go read. Looks like a clean the hand room. But just gonna go steal a key. Don't mind us. Key isn't going anywhere now. What happened? Are we still hold on? Hold I missed a step apparently. I did that. The key isn't going anywhere now. What happened? Are we st Hold on, hold on. We ain't licked yet. Not sure what I'll gain by blowing that all over. No good. The rug's too thick and the key's too heavy. Oh, whoops. See if this works. Blowy, 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 blowy. Pulley, pulley. I can't believe we just did this. When you're saving souls, sometimes you gotta rob a few old ladies. Da 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 da! So we never have to do this again. Shut the door. What? 
Penelope mentioned a Peridot stone? Oh, that thing. She wore it constantly, believed it contained some spiritual powers or something. I should throw it away. Can I have the Peridot stone? Why? Penelope would like it back. Absolutely not! That trinket just made the problem worse for her. The next time I think of it, I'm just gonna throw it away. Are you sure I can't take the Peridot off your hands? I think Penelope would really appreciate it. Did you hear what I told you? I said no. What a bitch. Well, I better get going. Listen, I appreciate what you're doing, but please don't bother us again. We're embarrassed enough by this as it is. I'll do my best. I expect more than that. If any of this shows up in the paper, we'll deny everything. You got that? Now, Chris and I are meeting my husband for dinner, so if you'll let yourself out. Right, sure. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Booty. There's nothing useful in there. Got it. I'm saying maybe we should wait until he's older. I know. It's just been so long since we've gone out. We don't have to go to Le Cirque, you know. I know. One day he'll learn how to behave. One day. Look, I'll go make something for us to eat. You let him run around until he gets tired. Then we'll have the evening to ourselves. It's a date. Well, crud. I'm not that desperate. Oh. This is hardly the time for a nap. Ah. Locked. I'll go scope things out. Just hang tight. So, kid, what's the skinny? I don't think I'm meant to do that. So, kid. <sighs> Are we supposed to tire the baby out? Must I define intangible? when daddy buys thermostats wholesale. Maybe a blow on the thermostat? Says 
62 degrees. Hmm. You know, Chris, I think it's getting a little hot in here. What do you think? Should we open a door? Yeah, I think so too. Uh -huh. Come with me, baby. To the door. Chris, where are you going, you little monster? Run away! The crazy old lady! Hello, Penelope. Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. Well, thanks for your- Oh, it's- I got your Peridot stone back. Is this it? Yes, that's mine, all right. You actually went into that place and took it? Er, uh, yes. Imagine that. I thought you were just humoring me. So, about Gavin? Oh, that's right. You wanted to yes. see him. Well, I'm not sure you are ready, but I can certainly put you on the path. The one you seek is named Lisa Tenzin. Who is Lisa Tenzin? She's a healer. She is the one who introduced me to Gavin. I sent your friend Jeremy to her as well. I see. So where can I find her? Her office is in Midtown. Here's the address. Thank thanks. you. Well, thanks for your time, Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Stop by any time. To Lisa. We must just have some powerful legs. We just walk everywhere. A street psychic, huh? Keep on your toes. This could get messy. I think I can handle a psychic. I am one after all. Just be careful is all I'm saying. It's a mailbox. Oh, I can't get it open. Hi, is this Lisa Tenzin? Penelope Haynes gave me your address. I was hoping I could talk to you. Please sit. So, what can I do to help? I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. A pleasure. I'm Lisa Tenzin. You said Penny recommended me. Yes, I was hoping to talk to you. I am here to help. What exactly do you do here? I work with life energy mostly. Positive energy keeps your spirit alive and healthy, while negative energy blocks it. And that's important? Think of it like exercise for the soul. Just like maintaining a healthy body, you also need to maintain a healthy spirit. Healthy spirit, right. If I was healthy, I wouldn't be dead, would I? How does this work? How does it work? Through meditation. That's something I can offer you. Me? Do you think I need it? I can tell that your spirit is weak and could use my services. My spirit is weak? How? Something is blocking it. It can't function and flow like it normally would. What would cause that? In your case, I'd say it was a recent tragedy. Something happened to you recently, didn't it? Something that affected you deeply? Um, doesn't matter what we say. Auntie wasn't that recently anymore, right? Nothing that I can think of. And yet, you felt compelled to come here. You are uncertain, but don't know why. That kind of eternal questioning can damage the spirit more often than not. 
You aren't buying this crap, are you? But if you like, I can help you get better. So how can you help me get better? Your blockage is strong, but not insurmountable. I can meditate tonight on the problem. That way, the best course of action will be revealed to me. If I asked you to do this for me, what then? It takes a great deal of spiritual energy to meditate on this kind of problem. I need to light a special candle in order to replenish it. So I will need to charge you $200 for the service. Then we can create an energy work plan. Huh. And you doubted her sincerity. I am going to have to think about this. Of course, there is no hurry. Did a Jeremy Sams come to see you? I wouldn't tell you one way or the other. Like any healer, I believe in confidentiality. Could you tell me about Gavin? Penelope said you introduced her to him. Those sessions were supposed to be private. Even still, I would like to meet him. The spiritual process must not be rushed. Penny was ready and needed to take the next step. But you, you will need several months of sessions before you can even begin that journey. Thanks. It is not a judgment. It is what you are. Could you tell me why Penelope came to see you? I'm afraid not. Our sessions are private. Do you know anything about the High Line? I know nothing more than anybody else, I'm sure. Jeremy is dead. I'm sorry to hear that. A death often brings us in contact with our own mortality. No, it's not that. There's no confidentiality if he's dead, right? There are other worlds than these, Miss Blackwell. Yeah, we know. Thanks for listening, Lisa. I'll get back to you about fixing my problem. Of course. Have a good night. That was... useless. What did I tell you? A blocked aura. Do I really have a blocked aura? How would I know? For that matter, how would she? Because maybe she's a real psychic. I'm pretty sure they exist. I am living proof. I don't know anything about auras, sweetheart, but I know a phony when I see one. And that woman in there? A bona fide phony. So what am I then? Beats the hell out of me. Hmm. Okay. So... Just a trash can. Part of the mayor's anti-litter campaign. We know from the notebook that he lost his phone. Tried to scan me, no surprise. So I'm going to assume it's around here. Trash can ahoy! God, that's disgusting. Is Jeremy's phone really under all that? Only one way to find out. You gonna help or what? Being dead means I don't have to pick through garbage. It's one of the perks. Right. Found it. Jeremy better appreciate this. Mmm. Garbage phone. Let's go back to, that's a cheap looking phone, um, exit, let's go back to Jeremy and confuse the fuck out of him, cause he thinks he already has his phone, right? Come on in. Oh, hi Rosa, make yourself at home. Still confused as to how he called us. I met Lisa Tenjin. Lisa? That's right, Lisa. I almost forgot all about her. I only just met her. I met her through Penelope, like you. Crazy, isn't it? Who knew how big this was? That's why we need to break it wide open, you see? I don't know. 
Come on, Rosa, you see them on every street corner. These phony psychics, these rip-off artists. They say they can see auras or even talk to the dead. Imagine that. But it's all a lie. Everyone knows that. Or do we? Why do people keep going to these places? There's something beyond this. Something incredible. I'm so close. 